Long Island dealing with flooding in the aftermath of yesterday's rain as town, the town of Brookhaven continues to assess the destruction from flash flooding that swept the area overnight. Town Supervisor Dan Panico says the damage is catastrophic and will take a federal disaster declaration to help rebuild. And that heavy, unrelenting rain causing roads to collapse and water rescues. Dan Panico joins us now. Dan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I mean, you said like the last time we saw this kind of extensive damage over a hundred years ago, this has become kind of the new normal. What are we seeing right now? Well, we're seeing roads washed out, ravished the North Shore. In Stony Brook, the entire mill pond is gone, and all of the water, all of the wildlife in there is in Stony Brook Harbor. It's an absolute disaster up there right now, and that road is jointly owned by the town of Brookhaven and the village of the head of the harbor in the town of Smithtown. That's going to take uh, a lot of engineering, a lot of permitting, and most importantly, a lot of money. I've spoken to the governor's office, just got off the phone with Senator Schumer's office. This is beyond the capability of a local government, mm -hmm. like a town government. We're going to need money, especially from the state of New York. Yet how receptive were they to that message? Well, they were receptive uh, in that they listened. Uh, they're going to be in touch. But that's what makes government work. And this is an appropriate use of funds, whether it be the federal government or the state government. The town of Brookhaven needs funding. What we what we see on our North Shore, not as bad as Connecticut, but pretty bad. And we need that funding for this town. You know, and you know, obviously there's only so much you can do when this much rain falls this fast. But I do know you can upgrade the sewer system. That's a huge issue where you are, correct? Uh, it's a tremendous issue. And it's an issue we talk about uh, all the time here in Suffolk County. And all issues of government are issues of money. And we hope that the federal government and the state government will be receptive. Stony Brook was the worst hit community. But when you go to Rocky Point, Sound Beach, roads on the Long Island Sound are gone. Wow. These are roads that residents live on, and that's going to have to be fixed. The bluffs are going to have to be fixed. You know, the once in a hundred year storm happens now three times every 10 years. This is the new norm that we're dealing with here on Long Island, and we have to build back smarter. We got to build back better, but that takes funding. Yeah, that is the reality that we're seeing these days. I mean, we're showing some of the footage uh, of the flooding. It's just so bad. Um, talk mm -hmm. a little bit about the damage to, uh, to Stony Brook University. Is that going to affect classes? It is. Uh, there are 200 students right now sleeping on cots in the gymnasium of Stony Brook University. Uh, their buildings were flooded as well. Uh, that's just another part of the North Shore, and I know Stony Brook is scrambling already because they had a higher acceptance rate uh, of those people who were offered opportunities to attend the university. They're crammed already for housing. This latest uh, flood puts them really behind as the school is going to be opening its doors in a week or so. Yeah, 200 yeah. sleeping in cots. That is just awful. Not a good start to yeah. the school year for sure. All right, Will, we know you're very busy. We do appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Best of luck as you continue to mm -hmm. rebuild a situation that more and more towns are dealing with over the coming years, of course, as we've seen time and time again. Unfortunately, Dan Panico, we appreciate it. Thank you very much.